You cannot stop me. I'ma make it to the top spot. See, call it coming in now, cocky. You cannot break me. This world's mine for the taking. Got an inch man I'm making. Oh. And the worst part is, looking at the wild card lineup, you're only going to be able to take so many of those fights. And even in that fight, they don't have the highest amount of damage output here. The Faceless Void is notoriously slow to build up. And that if he needs to, the Gust is always kind of a get out of jail free card. But also a lane where Divi simply can't fight for denies. So it's really hard for him to shut down. But they Take it. Yeah, they get Boris just in the small camp. Of course, gives a free wave over to Yuma under the tower. But just gets caught up by that level two. Now Alexo. will be okay. Yeah, Alexo may not. He's going to try to finish the TP. He does make it out. And over on the other side, Vitaly oh, didn't make it away from Boris there. It's, it's, uh, it's paying for itself there as analog. Yeah. He's going to go for the toss back play here. They miss with the splitter though. So Boris has a chance to maybe get out. Well, especially if Yuma's going to throw down a Chronosphere. But I don't know if they have enough damage to actually finish Vitaly off in the aftermath of that. The bash comes through. So Yuma is tempted, but... That's not a good idea. Now with Analog in, it's a very, very bad idea. No Sonic Wave up for five, but they did get the Shadow Strike for the DOT. Can Boris get the Ooh. deny? Do oh, the deny, though. Boy. <laughs> Early approaching level six for Doom. They are trying to make a move onto Vitaly right now, but he is dishing out a lot of damage. But here comes Xantic into the fight, hoping to help. Not before Boris goes down, but with the those kills, they're able to get him. And now Xantic is going to go looking for Analog here. He's got a hit with the Rolling Thunder. He gets one down, and they find the kill. Maybe he pays for this. Multi-shot is going to start ticking him low a little bit, but he is not dead yet. Swash one for another. The Olicor in the river is not the tankiest of individuals, but now Divai kind of wishes he did have his lasso back up, because without it, there's really no play to be made here. Lumiere is going to get tossed directly on top of that bench. Look bottom. Vitaly shouldn't be allowed to do this, but... Yeah, Divai is going to go down. Boris, I mean, he had Doom, but he didn't throw it out. There is going to be a counterplay mid, though. Analog gets caught in that... Not in that chrono, actually. They do it without, but... There's still a potential fight coming through here. Theolacor wants it. The Doom, though, was applied. They caught out the Leshrac. They're going to catch him out in the Chrono now as well. And they will find that kill. And uh, Theolacor, I don't know if you get away from this. There's going to be that War Stomp coming in. Analog, though, TPs to the fight. Wants to save the Sonic for the highest amount of damage. But eventually, he does decide to just deploy it onto Boris. Get the one kill that they knew that they could grab. But that's not really as valuable you lost Next the set of spells it's always what we're going to be looking for for wild card divide even slows up his bkb so he can get a blink dagger just so they have another play in their back pocket Boris have to continue to farm or they have to look for a fight they are going to find one divide though wants the lasso onto the drow and well he wasn't really in the best of positions to grab it but they're still going to try they get the knockback there from the flame break gust only really hits onto the rubik so lumiere falls without the use of the lasso and Top. And again, they used a little. Chrono Perfect. is in. That's an easy pickoff. E easy. There we go. Easy pickoff. See, I wasn't worried. But they find the play, and now on the other side of the map, okay, it's Antics getting hit. Great, but the reinforcements nope. are coming. Divide's in. There's the lasso. They catch Vitaly. Uh, they need a little bit more damage to actually finish him off, though. And well. Hold on a second, because things are getting a little bit dicey. Analog blinks in, suiciding with the Aegis. So what else are they going to get with this? Nothing! They jump in the blink into the Doom. Oh my goodness. Analog thought he was the one laying the trap, E.T. He was the... him. Xantic's making a move. Going in for the Rolling Thunder. They're going to try to take down Gardic first. The Bash comes through from Yuma, so they find that kill. But now Yuma, he's going to get stunned himself. No chance for the... Oh, man. No chance for the Chrono. He's going to get taken down. Exantic now low on HP as well. And this fight's getting a little bit rough. But the Lasso was deployed. They caught Lumiere. They'll pull him back under the tower for the kill. But now Theolacor wants in. There's the Blink into the Avalanche. Analog blinks in as well. Damage onto the Rubik. They're going to take him down in just a moment. Well, that's going to be the focus on that Tier 2 button. Tali. Back in the Chrono. Okay. The toss. Oh, yeah, no, he was close enough for the toss. That's. <laughs> uh, yep. But the BKB doesn't last forever, and Vitaly just keeps on chasing. Defensive telekinesis attempted by Alex, but the Olicor is still on him. Avalanche into toss, and. Anyway, but they've got to take it on their terms. They are going to jump in onto the Lash Rack. Vitaly's getting pulled away. There's going to be the Chrono. Connecting onto three. They just knocked two of them out, though, but it's fine. Everything's still fine. Vitaly does go down. Gardic is going to fall as well, and Yuma jumps away. The Olicor, though, wants to chase, but Telekinesis preventing him from getting anything off. No tossback. Now it's Xantic's going to come in. The Rolling Thunder connecting multiple times onto Analog, but his teammates 
aren't really ready to jump back in yet. They need time to reload. So it looks like they're just going to be able to get the Olicor. Analog, though, is still not out of the woods just yet. Ollie blinks in. They're able to get off the... Oh, boy. The stomp, but that's not really enough. To get that win. Yeah, and ooh, Boris mm. might just be your free cost, but how free is it? Lumiere getting stuck in a situation where he's going to lose both his lives. That's ooh. very real. And he's cliffed, but they're weaving. And okay, they will all escape. It was actually only two heroes sticking around there, but they got the eyes, or dodges a dive onto him bottom, even though, oh, what a toss. It's going to pop the Yules. Or the Yules was popped onto him, though, actually. Which... He's got roll. Yeah. He's out. Oh, there's another <laughs> Yules. Another Yules, but here comes Yuma. Looking to push into the fight. There may not be a Chrono, but he's starting to get some damage going. And Vitaly, he's just getting bashed to hell. Vitaly's going to get taken down. And Santic will fall as well before uh, before the Could help with the durability issue as the Olicor. That's a huge avalanche connecting onto two. That's both Boris and Divai Lama taken down. Oh, and it's Antic. I don't know what the plan was, but it didn't seem like a good one will be taken down as well. Alexo on the run should not be making it out of here, and that is just four dead in the blink of an eye. Just gonna try and buy time, but wait reinforcements. See what comes his way, because Wildcutter looking to make a move. That Lotus, though, prevents Boris from going all the way in, but it doesn't stop Yuma. There's the Chrono, but where's his... Oh, where's his backup? He needs more damage. They are looking for the last track, but they're not able to get him, so they'll shift focus instead. Trying to bring down Gardic. They do finish him off, but Vitaly's starting to go to work. Bloodstone active, acting as the anchor for this fight. Analog jumps in on the back line to take out Divide Llama, and... Yeah, it's a little bit too broken up for Wildcard. Now they're going to try to make their retreat. They're not all making it out, though. Boris gets hit by the Gust. Lumiere finds that kill, and... Analog, how long for Blink? Two seconds. Yuma's gonna try to get out. He's still silenced, though. Slowed now as well, but... Alexa's gonna pull his teammate back in, and they should be safe. Yeah, and even though it looks like a good Chrono, you don't get the Undying, and you don't get the Drow. So when it comes down... Chorus, well, they're here. They're ready to go. They're hitting your building. They do get the Glyph, but they also need to be defensive. Why give them a 3v4 right now? But the Lasso... Ooh, okay. Vitaly, he ventured. He does have Bloodstone and Lotus still, but... Bash. Uh, yeah, the bashes are just going to do him in, and now... Never mind, okay. It's a nice gust from Alexo, but not really one that they can follow up on, or... Maybe they can... But, they find it in Billycor. <laughs> they found something in this tiny. He's got the Yules, if he gets it off, but no. Chain stun. I don't know if he was able to steal the Roche either, so this might be the wave response from Hikori. Wildcard are going to push in. How quickly can they do this? Well, if Yuma comes over, it's going to be a bit faster. And you see Boris just going to hold. Now they need to get back and defend the base. Analog tries to push in uh, to buy. That was a very aggressive blink with no lasso available. So he goes down. The Rax falls. Faces Void will keep for himself. But now he's pushing directly into a rough fight. The Chrono's down. But he needs help. Uh, Who's coming in? Who can help him out at this point? They didn't get Lumiere. Now they'll doom him, but it's too late. Yuma's already losing that first life, and Lumiere doesn't care. He doesn't give a shit. He's just right-clicking to hell, and everybody is just going down around him as Yuma gets stunned up. Second life did not have his BKB because he used it the first time, and... E.T., it has been a while since I have seen a team transition that poorly from Roche attempt into team fight, but there it is. Yeah, and now, well, bad. your Batrider is going to respawn. They just That's pressed the issue they pushed into, and and now, without the Faceless Void, I think this is, at the very least, Mega Creeps, but it might just be the game in itself. You have to hope they uh, run into your fountain right now, because there's just nothing to play oh. for, and Identic showed for a second. Lumiere is quick on the draw, and, well... That's a buyback force out of your Pango. If he dies again, the game is over. But the game might actually just be over. There's no Glyph. There's no reason for them to go for another lane. There's no Doom once Boris goes alive. He's just another hero to blink in and BKB or not. I mean, this is just it. You have to roll and do something, but there's just not enough game left. Yeah, it's already too late. It feels like Boris is going to try to push in, but he's lost. Really, it's about all of his health. Uh, Hikori are... Maybe focusing a little bit too much on these heroes as opposed to the Ancient itself, but you feel like it doesn't really matter. And Xantic will still fall. Boris goes down. There's the GGs. And Hikori... Well, they'll close out their group stage run, at least on a win, but... A performance like this ET in this game that ended up not mattering really kind of makes you ask some big what-if questions going back to game one. Yeah, of course, and uh, I'm positive for them. Probably feels like a frustrating series loss.